What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and we're on my second account again, and today we are going to be using the Decay Preconstructor deck in Ranked, and we're going to see if we can win with it, um, the Precon. Um, one with the Order 1, lost of Energy, one with Growth, and now we're going with Decay, and I think the deck is already made, Decay Precon. Yes, sir. Right. So looking at it, it looks like it's not too bad. A lot of humans, there's a Witch Doctor, Harvester, so hopefully doesn't go too badly not like the energy one so decay precon and i'll be back when a match is found and a match is found man being at 1630 rate like 1600 rating um has really uh has really decreased match time match looking for match time i uh have been i wait a lot longer when i'm at higher ranks i guess most people are around this rating is my second account. My main account is still number one. This video is going out like later, like it's a few days after it's recorded. So um, I'm not sure if I. Hopefully, I got the number one weekly winner for this week. Joyful Rogue. I believe he's streaming right now. Um. So let's see. He's decay. So maybe we'll have. Oh, wow, that's interesting. So it's very improbable, but. Looks like three of the four precon matches I get are gonna be uh are going to be near matches. Uh the sand is pretty good I think because I have a one drop and a two drop. So let's go like this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's streaming. Alright. Let's see. Hopefully nothing. Oh no, tries me. Alright, so I guess I will go with, kind of want to keep the necro, I'm not sure how many necros in the deck, fungify could be cool, I, don't, I do kind of like fungify, um, necro get in, let's get rid of the necro, and it's going to take a while to get up there, and I guess I'll just put down the blade husk. Let's see. So Nero's Needle's almost like uh, like removal because of the, the move is decreased by one. So that's cool. Nero's Needle's probably a pretty underrated card. It, it could probably work in decks. So, Languid on you. That's this whole turn that's not a huge deal. Let's see if I could draw like a Rot Eater. I'm not sure how many Rot Eaters are in this deck. Is he going to have a one drop like a Ripper or something? No. Uh, Trisman is pretty good. I mean, it could, he could just like damage or something with Fungify. So I'm not sure if Fungify is a great scroll to have. Actually, I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to play the Tribesman this turn. And it's really not that worth it just to get one damage in this dude, but the difference between three health and four health is a big one. A lot of things have three attack. Alright, but now this tries is all the way back here and you can't protect much. Oh well. Languid on what? Languid on you. Okay, so you're kind of useless, especially without Relentless. I might just let him die. And is Drofaro going to have anything to play? Maybe another tribesman. Okay, another tribesman. So, it's gonna be pretty scary if he gets like a witch doctor out. Bitter root. I am going to sacrifice that. A blade husk and a viscera sage. Okay, since I guess I'll protect this, move you up, and play a viscera sage. I don't know. So if I can like draw a witch doctor, that'd be awesome. Wrap to that. Fungify, blade, husk, use needle. I mean, I could have near his needle this, but I think that would be a little. Be, that wouldn't be that smart because I want to save that Nero's Needle for like a more important thing. He's already at... He, he could go to 5 resources this turn. 
so that's not too good for me. I've just been throwing out a lot of two drops and one drops. I need to start getting decays stronger guys. I don't I'm not sure if the precon has any like curse mongers or like hunters or stuff like that. I mean, he gets a curse monger out. And he probably is a witch doctor, that's why he went to five resources. So that worries me. It worries me. Um Sacrifice Blade Husk for scrolls. Display our hearts disciple. Um Well, deal a little bit of damage to him. And now probably is going to be a Witch Doctor. Which, New Year's Need on the Witch Doctor is not too good because it's not. The, the Witch Doctor you have to remove. You can't really just set its move to zero because the Husk will still spawn around it. Huh. I need to have like a nice threat in the board. I don't have any like threats. No curse monger. Stuff like that. Alright, so he's moving up there. Probably Witch Doctor here. Like definitely Witch Doctor here. Looks like he's gonna put it right there. Or not. Interesting how he's moving. Okay, so he moves up like that. Not sure why this tribesman is alone. <laughs> okay. Let us see, let us see. Now, I think I'm going to go for a totem of suffering. <laughs> That's going to be pretty fun. Pretty fun, pretty fun. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I could Newer's Needle, but yeah, I'm going to go for a Totem of Suffering, and I will sacrifice the Fungify, and how do I want to do this? It's not much of a way for me to have these guys survive, is there? Uh, at least let's try to keep you around. And have a three health thing in front, and then play a totem of suffering back here. Okay. So that is my turn. He has more resources than me. Next turn, I'll probably sacrifice roosters to play Oblivion Seeker, and then I'll pray for a Witch Doctor. The one Witch Doctor in the stack I'll have to pray for. There's also one Harvester. I'm not sure how many Rot Eaters. I don't know about the other stuff. I'm not sure if there are any damage curses in the deck. Maybe if I just try to keep this alive, I'll be able to win. Because Decay doesn't have a lot of things that can, uh, that can destroy structures. So who knows? Maybe I can win with that. Okay. All right. So he is just going to destroy the Our Hearts Disciple. And that's it, only a soul seal, that's okay. Ooh, restless bones. All your undead creatures plus to attack and can't send your by one. So this guy can attack. That's not that worth it, I don't think. Um I think I should go with an oblivion seeker. I believe that is what I should do. Sacrifice the tribesmen. No, sacrifice the restless bones. Play an oblivion seeker. Right there. Move you up. Okay, this isn't going too well. I don't think I'm able to win this game. But 
Winning with two out of the four pre-counts is pretty cool, I guess. Okay. So hopefully when this thing dies, I will be able to draw like a witch doctor or something. That could that's probably like the only thing that could save me. A witch doctor top deck. It still wouldn't save me really. But let's see. So Tux's Curse Monger in and then destroys. Let's see, Witch Doctor. Okay, now come on. I have to draw a Witch Doctor right now. Nah, okay. Um Hmm. I'll s I could play like three creatures this turn. Bully Toss Bog and drives them, but there's not put much of a point in that because I don't think there's another Necro in the deck, so spamming out little weenies right now won't won't do much. I have to Ooh, there's a Witch Doctor. Okay. Uh let's try to keep our stuff alive. Let's try to keep our stuff alive here. Let's go for a Bog Hound, PC of three health, so it can't be soul stolen. Maybe you can destroy this. Yeah, we don't want this at Ivy's it's a human, so we can use it next turn. And then I'll put a tribesman right here. Okay. Guys, we're not done yet. We're still in this. We have a we drew a witch doctor. And a soul steal. You know, I probably should have just soul steal. Soul still, but I kind of wanted to get the other, another human out. Yeah, I think I should have soul still. That was probably a mistake. So maybe I'm just going to surrender what's going on down here and place my witch doctor up there. But I'm probably not going to be able to compete with him. Because he's a witch doctor. He probably has damage curses. I don't. And necrogans. I don't. Yeah, I don't think the mirror match is what I wanted to play. Very surprised I was able to win the growth mirror match. With the growth preconstructor deck. I bet if he's streaming, everybody's just wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> Why am I playing all this stuff? Well, no, I did say I'm using the caper gun. Alright. Rot Eater. Now I can go Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor, Witch Doctor. Actually, yeah, we'll just go with the Witch Doctor. Sacrifice the Blade Husk. Witch Doctor there, destroy that, and you can take two damage probably. And now we have to hope he like he has no way of like getting uh he like he has like no damage curses. We gotta hope for that. He might go ahead and try to take a middle idol here, I don't know. I've done decent idle damage so far. Not that much, but nothing to sneeze at. Alright, so now he might he might move the Bowman Seeker and the Trizen in the middle so he can take on middle idle. That wouldn't be too bad for him to do. But he probably wants to keep them next to the Witch Doctor. Ripper in front there. It looks like he's going to take out Metal Idol. But at least I can get a Soul Steal off, probably. Without it spawning a husk. Alright, so there's Metal Idol. And I have to slowly make my way down there with my Witch Doctor. Uh, Hunter is 5 health, that's pretty good, but you could just get languided and it wouldn't even matter. But I have to probably get another human down this turn. Should I, should I? Nearest Needle on the Witch Doctor? No, I'm not going to. Um, 
Too bad he, this guy's not killing anything. I want to start killing stuff. I'll soul steal the thing that's... Okay, this is going down to the Rot Eater. I want to soul steal the Tribesman. Both Tribesmen I can soul steal. And they won't spawn house. This will buff the Rot Eater, but I destroy the tribes. But I destroy the one that's attacking. So I think I'll do that. And I will play a Corpus Collector over the Elmire Hunter. I know the 5 health is like really nice, but... um. I think I'm gonna do that. So, yeah, I could just get languided and then it's just useless. Or do I sack the nearest needle? What am I keeping the nearest needle for? No, I think it's gonna come in handy. I think the nearest needle is going to come in handy. And I kinda, I don't really care where the hell that thing spawns. Okay, that's fine. And I'll move down because I kind of have to get down there so I don't lose. And you probably gonna die. And I'll put this up here. Protect this. Um, if the curse monger doesn't curse the witch doctor and like brain lice it, that's pretty good for me. If he has to, if he uses it to attack instead. Okay, so as it stands, we have a two attack and a five attack going off, but it's very likely that someone gets damage curse or this dies simply from like a brain lace after attacking but if he has a brain if he has like poison then he pro he's probably more likely to curse this and then poison it instead of like attacking this with three attack and then poisoning it but it would take away a little damage for next turn okay so doesn't look like this is gonna die all right now he probably is gonna have like a brain double brain lace or single brain lace or something that would be pretty bad considering i only have one witch doctor in the deck Maybe he's going to let me destroy this life stealer. No, it doesn't look like it. Let's see, let's see. Alright, so I can't do a whole time. If I had a Necrogeddon now, that could be interesting. But I'm pretty sure there's only one in the precon. I'm not positive, but I'm, I'm like, I'm like 65% sure there's only one Necrogeddon in the preconstructed deck. Okay. Tribes under Nuru's Needle. Nuru's Needle could destroy something. I could, like, Nuru's Needle this and then destroy that. So, yeah, I'm going to keep the Nuru's, ne Nuru's Needle. And then he wouldn't get any husks either. So, Nuru's Needle I'm going to keep. <sighs> and then pretty bad cards. So, yeah, I'll do that. So then at least I can destroy these three humans but then this is gonna be a big rod eater which is gonna be pretty sucky but whatever so Nuru's needle and then I destroy both of you and I'm not going to play anything else I think the husk is better used as just like actually should I just put a husk down there just to protect stuff I could play a shroud of on life on the husk I don't know uh I think I think we're fine. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't care. I'm not gonna do anything. Okay. So now he has a three three rod eater, a four four rod eater, a five five rod eater, a witch doctor, and a life stealer and a ripper. And it's not looking too good for us, unless we can magically draw like another necker gun in this deck that I'm not sure is there. And hopefully we can draw like some better cards next turn, like the Harvester in the deck. There might be a Damage Curse in the deck, but there's too many strong things on his side of the board to Damage Curse. And anyways, my Witch Doctor would take three damage from a Damage Curse because it's cursed. So let's see, let's see. Um... Sacrifices for scrolls. Yeah, he has more scrolls than me, but I have a little slightly more resources. Okay, so that kind of sucks, but at least I got a husk. And 
That looks like that's it. And a harvester. Yeah, we're going to lose this game <laughs> pretty soon, I think. A lot of stuff on his side. All right. I will, I guess I should keep the weenies. Don't even have a human to put in front of the witch doctor right now. If I had like a Meyer, is there, is there a Meyer curse in this deck? I don't know if there's a Meyer curse in this deck. If there is, that could be pretty cool. Um, hmm. Well, might as well do this anyways. I like. I guess I'll go for the cluster hex, in case he damage curses. Then all these guys take more damage. That that could be good. And I'll put. Make sure this is in front. At least destroy that. Protect the idols a little bit. And play a Meyer Shambler. I'm gonna hold off on the Miasma Wall. All right, so let's see. I can get a Meyer curse with a, if I could draw a Meyer curse, I might be able to do something fun. Because all those guys have curse one. And if I, get, I have a my, my as well in hand. The, the Decay Precon would have Meyer curse, right? I hope so. It seems like it would. I think Meyer curse is like a, one of the common Decay scrolls. That like came out with decay, but I think actually the decay precon was updated. I'm not totally sure. All right. At least now maybe he'll at least think twice about damn curse and my witch doctor. The reason I didn't play my as well is because he could just like curse my he could poison my witch doctor and like die really fast. I mean, it would still actually die in the same number of turns with Curse. Alright, so more stuff is being put on the board by him. And our chances to win this game are getting smaller and smaller. Okay, that Harvester is now going to attack. Sacrifice the Husk, and let's see if I get a Meyer Curse. No. I sh there probably isn't a Meyer Curse in the deck. Uh... Let's just play an Oblivion Seeker and protect the idol a little bit. Play a Loyal Darkling somewhere. Sure. All right. If I had, I kind of need like four damage curses now. <laughs> A lot of stuff is attacking next turn too. We can't hold hold off the, uh, the onslaught much longer. It's looking more and more like I'm gonna win with two of the brigands. And there's a second witch doctor. Okay, draw a husk. And he does a bunch of other damage. Now he wins with like a Necrogun soon, probably. Scavenger Contract. I'm not sure if there's Anima Vor. Let's see. Let's sacrifice Shroud of Unlife. Life. Sickening Fumes. That's not Hydrania, so it's not as good, but it will suppress a lot of attack. Uh. Sure, why not? Let's go for the Sickening Fumes, and then we'll go Ripper, Ripper, Rod Eater. Actually, construct ripper rod eater, and we got that. We have to move to the middle. I think. I think we have to, move. and I'll destroy this rod eater. I think with the shambla, with the shambla, and then how we're we gonna do this? We want a ripper in front, like that, and then I guess go like this. 
and then put a rot eat, put a construct here. That might be able to like become pretty big and be like a big wall. And then a rot eater back here. I don't like the rot eater sitting all the way back there, but whatever. I want to at least destroy one of these things. I mean, the sickening just wasn't that good because you could just curse something with curse monger now and like still kill stuff. And this actually has four attack with the sickening fumes. Holy cannoli. Really, all the sickening fumes did is just. And is that game? It almost game. But honestly, what he just did there, he probably had game anyways just by playing out that Necrogen, but that Necrogen actually almost gives me a small chance to come back. I mean, yes, you see, he didn't move up with this husk, so now he does. he's not one little Darkling away from winning. I think he gave me a chance to win with that Necrogen. I think that, I don't think that Necrogen was a was a good Necrogen, but my, my Witch Doctor will die soon. See, I'm not sure what he's doing here, because these things are, like, dying anyways. So, I don't know. I don't think that was a smart Necro. But maybe he has another one just going to go for a double Necro. Possibly. But now I have this, this idol is pretty safe, so I have to protect that. He wins with, he wins with two, uh, with two, if he has like a Watcher, then he might be able to win soon. If he wins with two Darklings too, so. If I'm going to win, I'm going to have to like get the deck recycled and get draw a Necro again fast. Mire Curse. Okay, we have to destroy these things in case he has another Necro again. So, my, what's, connect, what's connected to the most husks? One, two, three. That would destroy three husks. This would destroy three husks too. This guy's more towards the middle. But this guy's in the back, and I think the back is like... Yeah, let's go like that. Let's put a Mara Curse on him. And then move you up. Place down a miasma well in front, some kind of protection at least, I think. And a ripper. And that will be my turn. I really hope there's like an animal war in the deck, I'm not sure. So at least it destroys three of them, and we'll try to keep this guy alive. <laughs> Maybe he'll start killing more. And he might have another Necrogun now, which probably is what he's going to do. And that would, that would hurt. Maybe he has like a Necro, two Necrogans in hand and then a Watcher. And he's Necro this turn, next turn, Watcher Necro. Oh, that, that's kind of bad. All right, so there's the Necrogan. Come on, Necrogan. Yep, all right. So what does that do to me? I mean, it doesn't change a whole lot. It uses this whole turn. He gets rid of the Mire Curse. But I think that... Oh, so he lets... He, just, he decides to the Mazo well and lets the Rot Eater survive. Interesting. Huh. That's strange. He already has an idol down to 4 health, so getting another one down to 4 health won't really do anything. <laughs> um, Let's see what I want to do now. Husk or scavenger construct. I got. I think I want to keep the scavenger construct. Uh, not drawing like anything big that I want. Where's that harvester? Where is that harvester? I've had a harvester that could really stop necro kittens. Let's languid a guy in the back because he has the chance of living the longest. And I'm not drawing what I want to draw. Uh, I guess I should just destroy one of these guys. I mean, I could actually win kind of soon. If I like go for idols, but that's too risky. Yes, I'll destroy you. Um, I'll try to get a fifty percent chance of destroying you. Uh, try to. I'm gonna put another scavenger construct down. And a Myra Shambler in front here. So I have a hundred percent chance of that happening. That is my turn. I think another scavenger construct is pretty good. So let's draw a Necrogun. Let's draw our one Necrogun in the deck that we sacrificed before. This deck is, is going really slowly. How am I... It didn't even recycle yet? Come on. 
Come on, let me draw something, like, that costs more. All these, like, little things, like, aren't doing much. So, if, he might have another Dark Rift. If he has, like, a Watch again now, it's probably game over. I actually kind of suit for me to put, to do this, because now if he has a regular Necker and not even a watch again, he can get this down to one health, so. Oh well. Alright, there's his Harvester, so that's not good. Well, his, another Harvester, he had Harvester before. Yeah, and he plays good stuff this turn, uh-oh. Now, now we're in trouble. <laughs> okay, how are we gonna do this? Rot Eater, that's pretty good. Alright, this is more decent stuff. This stuff is kind of decent. And I will play a Rot Eater and a Bog Hound. And that will be my turn. Well, I'm pretty happy I was able to survive this long into the game with, with only uh, the, with the decay freak on. Um, still in it though. The deck won't recycle next turn, but the turn after after next turn, I could draw a necker again, and maybe do some stuff. But these guys are attacking now, the husks, and that's not good. Not good at all. Brain lice on that. At least this is gonna have three health now. And a soul steal on that. Okay. So now this harvest is gonna like go down to like two countdown. I don't think there's any damage curses in this deck. I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. And a darkling. Okay, that's darkling number one. Let's see. Corpus collector. Sacrifice. Ooh, harvester. We have a harvester. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to destroy this life stealer. That would be good if I was able to do that. And he just, have to, just has to destroy one thing to get his uh, harvester to attack. I'll put the harvester down here and stick a corpus collector in front. I'm almost sacrificing the corpus collector. So, oh well. And he wins with the Darkling. But we're still alive. We're alive for another turn. And we're, we, we're, we're, we recycled the deck. So next turn. So there are no damage curses in the deck. Um, so I was waiting for a non-existent damage curse. Okay. He... I'm not sure it is. He's not going to knock her gun in here. Because he doesn't even win with the knock gun. What's the point of languiding that? What's the point of like putting that? You're, he's destroying it this turn. Unless he's not. <laughs> if you're going to languid, may as well languid like this Rod Eater or this Harvester. And then isn't this going to die this turn also? Why, why is he languiding things that he's going to destroy? And a Brain Lice on that. Okay. And is that the whole turn? Okay, cool. So at least his Harvester didn't attack... But I don't really have a way to destroy the harvest to, to, to destroy the harvester, anyways. Like I don't think there's a, a way in the deck that I can destroy this harvester. Any possible things I could draw? I'm not, I'm not sure if I can do anything. All right. So let's see. Let's sacrifice the rat because Huss has a bit more health, and I guess this isn't too bad. I can. Destroy both of these things. That's an option. This and this. I have to protect the idols. I can destroy both of those. Or I can destroy just the life stealer, but then I'm more vulnerable to getting destroyed. I think I've destroyed the multiple things. And he wins pretty easily, we'll see. And I'll stick a. That's gonna have four health when something's destroyed behind it. And I'll stick a bog hound in front there, and I'll end my turn. 
Alright. Oop. Soul Steel and a Damon Curse wins the game for him. A uh Damon Curse and a Damon Curse wins the game for him. I guess he can't do that anymore. I have this harvester going off, that's cool. So at least some of his stuff is gonna die, so is that the game? Damon Curse and it's game. Right now it's almost game. Another Soul Steel is actually game. If he has another Soul Steel, it's GG. Should I prepare the GG? Should I get it ready? Interesting. Why? Why brain lice, the rot eater, if it's going to die anyways? Might as well brain lice the harvester or something. Whatever. Let's go sacrifice the husk. Totem suffering. <laughs> hmm. I guess I'll just destroy this guy in the idol. And I'm kind of dead. If I can win this game with like a totem of suffering just sitting there. He's going to draw a Darkling sooner or later. Let's see. Move you down. Put a Shambler. Tribesman. And then a Totem of Suffering. Back top. Sure, why not? Cluster Hex. Another Harvester, that's not good. Another Harvester. <laughs> um, Cluster Hex I have to keep, I think. I need Poison. It's not exactly what I want. Um, Cluster X, so at least if there's a damn curse, his things die. Well, actually, that's not good for me because then I could have just lost the game with that, with that uh, Cluster X because now if he damn curses, his stuff dies. Let's check protect this a little bit more, right? I mean, damn curse wins in the game either way. Anything he does almost wins him the game. So I'll just put the Corpus Collector. Yeah, I'll put it up here. And I will end my turn. Alright. Let's draw another Meyer Curse. Meyer Curse. Wow. Probably drawn a second Darkling or maybe a Watcher. <sighs> hmm. Languid on that. Not a big deal. Not really. Don't really care about that. I know there's a Darkling. Okay. Soul still may be on it to win the game right now.
or a diamond curse on it. Doesn't look like it. So our only chance to win now is to somehow. I don't know. How could we win? How could we win? Um, this only has two health. Wait, if I draw, if I draw a Necro again, I could be able to win. If he keeps this like middle idol open. Okay, this is my curse, my curse. Um. Oh god, but how am I supposed to do this without? Oh uh, boy, oh boy. Oh. <sighs> This can't, I can't have a Mario Curse on this or this piece, and this is gonna die. And this Harvester is gonna go off, but there's no way to Mario Curse, really. Because what, if I Mario Curse, these guys have Curse once, that means they're gonna take two damage, and plus one is three damage. Actually, I might as well Mario Curse, won't even kill a Harvester, right? Because it has Curse one, so that's gonna deal two, two poison damage, and then my Aspen Well is gonna make it three poison damage. Yeah, so these aren't even gonna die. So actually, that's pretty good. I think that's what I should do then. Because if they don't die, then... Well, this is going to die. And then that harvest is going to be down to one. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Let's do it. Let's go for the Meyer Curse on... On you. My SOL. Wait, why did I why did I attack that Darkling? Now that Darkling can die with a damage curse. Oh well. Come on, just GG this thing. I'm not. It's not over yet. If I if two things die in this row for me, that's game. If two things out in this row, I would have been able to. Uh, That is it for today. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this. And so I was able to win with two of the four precons. And um, it's kind of cool. So thank you for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this. And keep on scrolling, scrollers. I will see you next time.